In this video, we are going to see a practical example of how to use key services in SPNet Core. The idea is the following. Sometimes you have a service that have several implementations and in some places of your application, you want to use a specific implementation of your service. And then in another place of the application, you want to use another implementation. So what you can do is to use a key service, which basically means that you are going to have one interface and then you are going to have several implementations and you are going to put a key or name to those implementations so that in one part of the application, you can say, I want the implementation name X. And then in another place, you can say, I want the implementation name Y and so on. So let's see an example of that. And as I mentioned, this is a practical example because in the past, I wanted to make a video about key services, but I never did it because I never quite got the point. But that is until now, because I will show you a practical example that I faced in the past. So let's say the following. Let's say that we have this iService AI, which is an interface that allows me to abstract AI operations behind an interface. So we can say generate text as an example. Then we have several implementations. I have Gemini service because I want to be able to use the Gemini model from Google to generate text. But also I want to use the OpenAI service because sometimes it is better for me to use OpenAI. So there are some scenarios in which I want to use Gemini and then there are other scenarios in which I want to use OpenAI. So one way to implement this and share the same interface is to use a key service. Let's see that. Let's come to the program class and let's see that here in the part in which we configure our services, I can say builder services, but instead of saying, for example, at singleton or a transient or a scope, I will say at kit scope or kit singleton or kit transient. And the main difference is that besides saying, and let me use a scope for this one, besides saying I service AI, let's say Gemini, for example, service Gemini, I want to look for Gemini service. Instead of just saying Gemini service here, I have to pass a parameter, which will be the key that allows me to identify this implementation that I have here. More often than not, we're just going to use a string like Gemini, which means that I am registering this Gemini service as a scope using key services. Now, the idea is the following. I want to use this Gemini service here in a controller because I want to use one implementation of my AI services in live queries, that means that the user asks for something and they immediately get it. And there is also another kind of service that I want to do, which are in recurring tasks because I want to run them in the background. And in this case, I will use OpenAI. So since we already registered the Gemini service, let me come here and let me show you how can I inject that Gemini service. Let me say CTOR and then I will say, attribute from kit services. And here I will pass the name of the implementation that is Gemini. And then in here, I will say I service AI, service AI control dot assign as a field. And then in here, let's pretend that I am using my service just to return the generated text. All right. Now let's test this. Let's see that this will work. As you can see here, I'm saying from key services, Gemini, and then I get the implementation here. All right, so let me come to the HTTP file. Let me control F5. Let's see that I already have this here. Let me say send request and you are going to see that we have text generated with Gemini. Excellent. Now, I don't like to use magic strings like this one. So I prefer to use constants. And as you can see here, I already have this Gemini constant here, which means that I can certainly do the following. I can say constants and then Gemini. And in that way, I eliminate the need of using magic strings. Of course, you can also use enums if you prefer to. All right, so let's come here and let me do the same here. All right, so now what I want to do is that, okay, this is working. I am using here the Gemini service, but in the recurring task, I want to use OpenAI because I deem that it is more convenient for me to use the batch API of OpenAI. So I will use here the OpenAI implementation. So let's come here and let's register that. So builder services at kit. And let's say that I want to use a singleton here. So I can do that. I service AI, OpenAI service. And notice that I can use a scope for one. I can use singleton for the other. And there is no problem with that. Whatever is convenient to me. Constants.openai. All right, and now let's come to recurring task. 
let's come here let me say ctor again from key services i will say here constants dot open ai i service ai service ai and assign as a field and then in here we're going to pretend that we are generating this in the background so let's say var text equal to service ai dot generate text and then we're going to say console right line the text all right now let me press console f5 notice that by the way in the program class i already registered this as a hosted service so this will run in the background let me look for the console which is here so as you can see here in the background i am using the open ai implementation of my ai services and in the foreground let's say we are using the gemini implementation as you can see here now something that is cool is that if in the future, for example, I say, okay, now here I want to use another implementation. I want to use, for example, the Gemini implementation. There is no problem with that. I can just change this here and I'm good to go because they share the same interface, which means that we don't have to change any of the code that we have here. But let me put this as it was. And that's about it. Thank you so much.